Now, there are currently 6,000 people waiting for a transplant in the UK. And last night, my next guest won a Daily Mirror Pride of Britain award after his campaign to change the law. Max joins me now alongside his mum, Emma. Congratulations. Thank well you. Well done. You must be shattered because you were partying and everything last night with all the celebs. Is it good am. fun? <laughs> Got to bed at 20 past 12 last night. 20 past 12. I woke up at 6. Respect. <laughs> Respect to you, young Max. But amazing, amazing story. Absolutely incredible. I mean, he will change the law. It's, it's remarkable, isn't it? You must be so very proud of him. Very, very proud. Um, I mean, it's really very surreal because two years ago, we just had no idea what was round the corner and what was going to unfold for our family and for Max. Mm. Um, so to go through that horrific experience and not knowing whether we'd be bringing Max home yeah. to now um, Max be receiving a... Uh, and it's such an honour, incredibly proud. It's um, a very elite band <laughs> of people that have got one of these, a very elite band of people indeed. And you're, you're close to the family, you're close to Kira's family, who sadly she was, she was killed in a, a car accident. Um, but you're very close, aren't you? You, you keep in touch yeah. a lot. Yes, and, and do you want to tell Lorraine um, where they were last night? They came to the Pride of Britain Awards and it's uh, where I got... This, this, uh, this, yeah. and uh, it was nice to have my donor family there yeah. to, like, watch me mm. get it because, like, it was it's just nice to have that company. Really. No, absolutely, and to share the award, really, mm. you know, it's, it's, it's to share that. So I love the fact that you called the heart. It's got a name, hasn't <laughs> it? <laughs> what do you call? What's your nickname for your heart? Uh, Mira or Cax? Cax, because that's like a blend of your two names, a blend of Kira and Max. That's lovely. It really is. What, what a great and what an amazing way for them to remember their daughter. M Max flourishing has brought them a little yeah. comfort. No, definitely. Um, and I think anybody considering organ donation on behalf of loved ones, um, there is definitely a, a, a legacy. Um, it's a precious gift. Um, mm. And it can bring a small measure of comfort yes. to bereaved families. Well, that, that makes perfect sense. We know that this law, it's called Max's Law, um, exists in Wales, where you have to kind of opt out. Yes. Um, it's going through in Scotland. And it looks like, are you hopeful that it's going to go through in England? We're very, we're very hopeful. I mean, in Wales, obviously, it's a much smaller pool of population mm -hmm. and only a small percentage um, of deaths are eligible for, for organ sure. donation anyway. But what has happened in Wales is that we've, uh, we've seen the consent rate increase from something like 45% to 72%. Mm. So I think it's about um, increasing public consciousness about organ donation yeah. and um, encouraging families to just have the conversation so that you know what you would want to happen should should the worst happen. It is, it um, is incredible, Max, because you will save lives. Um, basically, it's like just talk to your family. Yeah. Make make a decision. If one of your family members have passed away, make the decision. Just think, would they have wanted it? What was the best part about last night? The best part of it <laughs> was definitely when it went behind the scenes ah. where, where me, Ollie... Uh, oh, Ollie Murs, yes. yeah. Yeah. Look that, at you, you were dancing. You even, got, you even got Jeremy Corbyn. <laughs> I, did, I, mean, I don't think Darcy Bush would be all that. I think that would be a zero from the, from the Strictly judges. But you actually got him dancing. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> get to go to Ollie's. Ollie Murs has invited me to his... Oh. Thing, oh, his concert. Fantastic. Oh, he's a good lad. You enjoy it. Enjoy every single second of it. It's brilliant to see you looking so well. And fingers crossed that the law will get passed fairly shortly, we hope. And a um, uh, big, big... And uh, just Ashley. There we go. Oh, Ashley, Ashley, Ashley Banjo. Yeah. Yes, of course. How could we forget? Name, How could we forget him? He was in the background giving it large. Me and him are going to play on Fortnite. You are? <laughs> We're going to do 1v1, one one, see who's better. I think you'll be him. I think you can take him. Could I just say yeah. a very quick thank you to all the staff at the Freeman Hospital sure. and the Manchester Royal For Children's sure. Hospital? Ah, they're amazing, aren't they? They Fantastic. do an incredible job. Incredible. There's a stab in my back. 
What, the feathers are stabbing you? But that's outrageous. <laughs> Cushion person will be fired. <laughs> the feathers are coming out the cushions. Honestly, right? You can catch the Daily Mirror, Pride of Britain Awards, next Tuesday on ITV at 8 o'clock.